Hey everybody, this is Not a Spring Chick. Happy Memorial Day weekend. I know, I am i don't know about you, but I am ready to go to the beach. And I'll tell you, if you are going to the beach, make certain that you go early. As in, make sure you get down to the beach and find parking before noon. And if you don't, just know that parking is going to be expensive. You can't find it. Traffic's crazy. Or come late, late, late in the afternoon, like after 3 or 4 o'clock. So that uh, you actually get to enjoy the beach. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Sure, because it should take it from me. Of course you will. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said the Republicans are overreaching. They're after the most popular president in our history, nation's history. They're out to get him because he's black. They're out to get him for this. They're out to get him for that. And the problem is, is that the, the, he depends upon the unions and the press, and the unions and the press are both pissed off at this man at the moment. So. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and the IRS, AP, and Benghazi scandals are just part of the Obama administration's war on the Bill of Rights. Well, because, okay, you know, um, my, you know, Herbie Daddy will tell you simply that the President of the United States, uh, during the election campaign, says that they, the Constitution was written by a bunch of white guys and, and white wigs. He doesn't really, you know, I, I, I'm willing to bet you this man does, has no clue what's actually in the Constitution. And I'd love to, the people for years have been trying to see his grade cards for college. I think they passed him because he was a minority member. Oh. Yeah. And Obama's head of Obamacare at IRS. Out of a job. They tried to fire her and she wouldn't go. What? Yeah. They, uh, because she's not going to become the fall guy. Oh, there is just so much. I mean, that they're going to have to pay her. They, they tried to fire her. She won't go. So now they're going to pay her for Wait, doing that How is this? They try and fire you and you don't go? That's but, right. Don't they just lay you off? Now, what it means is, uh, Herbie Daddy would explain it in terms that most people can never grasp and understand. He said, you know what Herbie Daddy says? She's got something on them and they can't force her out. So they're going to pay her now to try to keep her mouth shut. Mm -hmm. And uh, she basically told the people upstairs, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm not going to go peacefully. I want to take somebody with me. Ooh. So, uh, and that's now because, oh God, there's, I mean, the Democrats. And, and guess, usually when they say they're going to take someone with them, that's somebody above them. Yeah, and way above them, you know, but they said the Democrats are wanting to know, said so they, they asked this morning, was this woman or was this woman not fired? And they said, well, we asked her to leave. She refused. And they said, we want to know why she's still being paid uh -huh. if she was fired. Uh -huh. and, and, uh, and one of the Democrats said, yeah, okay, because she's got something on somebody. Uh -huh. She said, that's how it's done in Washington, D.C. That's the Democrats. They're getting, they're getting flack from everybody that hates the IRS. Why is this woman still being paid by the people of this nation? Uh, you know, and what they, I mean, she's already, she lost her job. When she took the Fifth Amendment, when she did that, she lost her job, and they, they tried to gloss over it, but that doesn't work, folks. And Texas lawmakers, okay, drug tests for some unemployment applicants. Because they can do that. I mean, there's nothing unconstitutional. Okay, you have, they're, they're requiring drug tests now for student athletes, but you can't require drug tests of people uh, uh, applying to get government benefits. Well, if government employees have to go under drug tests, Students in school for the play and athletics have to go into drug test. Why is it that people that are giving government assistance don't have to have drug tests? And Obama voices support for Senate immigration bill. Well, yeah, because it basically take it, it gives uh, the people that want border security or tightening the immigration laws get nothing. Whatever you know that uh, the only thing the Republicans got out of it, which is going to be removed, is that. Uh, that they they don't have to pay for the health care of the illegal immigrants until they become citizens, mm. period. And that's not going to happen. They said, but the Democrats still managed to get through. Well, emergency care will still be provided. And oh, uh oh, I just got it from Herbie Daddy. Where do all of the illegal immigrants go now? Mm. They go to emergency care anyway. So, what, you know, I heard a guy last night. He spent five years and a hundred thousand dollars to be able to be coming to this country to work. And he was having to run, do his job out in, in Canada before he could come to this country. And he said the President of the United States and the Democrats are going to give people that are here illegally free waivers and that, well, they're going to pay their fees and installments. Uh, he said, I cost me $100,000, folks. I didn't get installments. Mm. 
And Obama seeks end to perpetual U.S. war on terror. Well, there is no war on terror. Obama has never admitted there was a war on terror. There is only crim isolated criminal misconduct. And since he became, he became president, Al-Qaeda has basically faded away. We'll see. Uh, oh, Kirby Daddy says they helped to take Egypt. They helped to take Libya. Said they're helping to take her, uh, Syria. They're getting ready to take over in in Iraq. They're basically in uh, Pakistan. They're in they're, you know. Uh, so he, he really caught. He, I mean, they t I think somebody told him. They said this was what was did when he said that Al Qaeda has virtually disappeared. They oh, just like he wasn't on. Other people said he wasn't on teleprompter again. Mm. A Republican overreach on IRS. There's no Republican overreach on IRS. They targeted, okay, the Reverend Billy, the Rev, uh, Reverend Franklin um, Graham is now appealing to Obama about the fact they basically are refusing, to, okay, he has been stuck in a system for three years now because he's got, he's got a religious thing on it. The religious organizations are, on the right are now being targeted, not the Muslims, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the, you know, if you're a Catholic, you're screwed. If you're a Christian, you're screwed. If you're a Jew, you're screwed. Everything that has to do with the right, nothing on the left is being targeted unless they happen to have a little thing like Patriot in the name of their company, which a lot of people do. And, oh, mm. Especially if you're uh, in Boston or Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. An IRS official learner, I did nothing wrong. The problem is she wasn't allowed to say that under the terms of, we, we did this yesterday. Years ago I worked on an episode of um, the Rock Group files, and you know they they told you know James Garner whatever you do, don't say anything other than I, I stand on my constitutional rights to plead the Fifth Amendment. Don't even answer your name, because the guy that was in there first, I think his name was Eddie Firestone, did it in the show, and they hauled him off and put him in jail for for contempt of court. And then I asked, you know, that sort of sounds strange. So I asked my father, who was a police officer. Yeah, I said, my father said they told us. Yeah, uh, you know, the unions have told us, never give your name even if you go in front of the jury if you're going to plead the fifth. Because you can no longer plead the fifth. The, answer, the instant you have answered one question or said one statement, you uh, negate pleading the fifth for anything after that. Oh. And they're wondering, who in the world, okay, they actually, Herbie Daddy said, I heard that last night, when the comic said, well, we know who, we know who, uh, told that woman to do that, the same people that are advising the president to change his thing every day, which this morning, Carney said, I do understand this is starting to, this is really starting to sound bad. <laughs> yeah, we've changed, the story has been changed every single day on one of his scandals, every mm -hmm. day. And Democrats call for controls on tax exempt groups at IRS hearings. I know, isn't that something? They're after the same people that the hearings are being held to correct the problem on because the, the trick is people are other than unions the Democrats get no support from anybody. They don't get it from Afro-American groups, they don't get it from uh, the Latinos, they get nothing. So therefore they have to stop the Republicans who are able to raise lots of money from uh, people that basically don't like the left-wing policy of the Democrat, which even includes the middle-of-the-road people in this country, the independents. And Hezbollah steps up Syria battle and Israel threatens more strikes. Yeah, Hezbollah is going to take over in, in Lebanon and probably going to take over in Syria. If the Russians let the president have his way, Hezbollah will be in charge of Syria. And Hezbollah is an offshoot of Al-Qaeda. And IRS went after Franklin Graham. I know, isn't that something? They uh, basically audited him. They're preventing him. I mean, the guy, you know, like he said, the, our, everything we do is either is educational and providing assistance to people, like in Oklahoma, which they're basically, they're, they're, we're held up in the bureaucratic nightmare that we, you know, and, oh God, I mean, they, they said that there's so many people wanting to testify in front of Congress of what the IRS did to them, that the, the, this hearing is, the hearing's never going to go away because, I mean, this is Franklin Graham now in the Billy Graham Ministries that is now being held up, who is now targeted by the IRS, and they can prove it because they ask them a whole series of questions that have nothing to do it has to do with your, who, who, you know, did you support this political candidate? And a monster bubble is in front of Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. Okay, that um, basically you can only lie so many times before people no longer believe the, the lies you're telling. <laughs>